The multiplication area model is helpful with numbers that are two digits or larger. When students understand the concept of place value, they're able to use this method of mental math. So let's multiply 35 times 5. First, we'll write the factors in expanded form. The first number, 35, is written horizontally. And the second number, 5, is written vertically. This allows us then to draw our columns and rows. Next we'll multiply, always moving from left to right. So first we'll multiply 5 times 30. If we know that 5 times 3 is 15, then we know that 5 times 30 is 150. Then be sure to always circle your answer. The next would be 5 times 5, which gives us 25. And again, we'll circle the 25, which is our answer. Now, to solve the problem, I know that I have 1 in the hundreds, which equals 100. I have 5 tens plus 2 tens, which gives me 7 tens. And then I have 5 ones. So 35 times 5 equals 175. Now we'll practice a two-digit by two-digit problem using the multiplication area model. Let's try 52 times 12. First we'll write the factors in expanded form. 52 is written horizontally as 50 plus 2. 12 is then written vertically as 10 plus 2. This allows us to make our columns and rows. And now we're ready to multiply. Starting left to right, we'll multiply 10 times 50. And if we know that 1 times 5 is 5, we know that 10 times 50 equals 500. And we circle our answer. Next, we do 10 times 2. And if we know that 1 times 2 is 2, we know that 10 times 2 is 20 or two tens. And we circle our answer. Then we go down to our two. Two times fifty. If we know that two times five is ten, then we know that two times fifty is a hundred. Two times two equals four. And we circle our answers. Once we've completed that process, we're ready to add our numbers. In the hundreds, we have 500 and 100, which gives us 600. We look at our next column, which is the tens, and we do not have any tens except for the two. So two goes in the tens column, and we have four in the ones. 52 times 12 equals 624.